So this is my good friend, Rideshare Trickster's channel. Uh, he sends me this message. Your account is deactivated. We're going to watch the footage. I'll let you be the judge. Deactivation reason, altercations and harassing. After reviewing trip feedback and your account history, your account has been, um, as explained in our guidelines, uh, blah, 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 permanently deactivated. He writes back. I'll read it to you. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and the media are going to love watching my footage. We're going to show the footage right now and sharing another story about how Uber once again de deactivated a 4.97 star driver for protecting himself against an unruly and violent passenger screaming and cussing, threatening to attack the driver with a taser. And Uber still lets the passenger use the app for rides until they once again uh, deactivated. Okay, that's the same one, right? All right, so let's watch this footage, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, this is not the account holder, the rider. She is using her friend's account and now suddenly wants him to stop because she wants to go shopping. And he's patiently playing along. Didn't understand. Is that a problem? It's not a problem, but my whole thing is is that if if it was a big situation, like y'all shouldn't take that out on your rider. I'm just following rules. That's what that's what no, they say. It's it's following not rules. Rules. It's about Uber. It's no. like she's not even the account holder. She's account. using her friend's account. No. That's what pays your bills. No, no. this does not pay my bills. Did you hear him? Uber, there's, there's no way, there's no way I can... Okay, I will get on some, it's not a problem. I'm just, I don't I'm even just, understand what the problem is. I didn't even do anything to you, sir. You didn't. I, was I, I literally you. did not. I was just letting you know that we can, oh, she canceled, oh my so God. you can get out. So her friend canceled now. I will get out, but you don't have to talk to me like that, like I'm a piece of shit. I didn't. Because at this point, you got me fucked up. Get out of the car. No, I ain't no fucking get out the car. Because now you got me fucked up. Get out of the car. Bring I don't give a you. fuck about you racing shit. Get out of my car. I will tase the shit out of you. I'll tase the shit out of you. Marcus, you finish Thank you. Happy holidays. So let me walk you through this because the audio wasn't that great. She's using... A friend's account. She's not even the account holder. She suddenly calls her friend and wants him to stop for shopping. He agrees to five minutes, right? We're not earning money. He's being polite. She escalated her voice. That's the way I see it. He doesn't know what she's doing in the back seat, right? She could have a gun. She could have a knife. You don't know. And just out of precaution, he gets his pepper spray out, right? Just you know, in case something happens, escalates. She must have seen the pepper spray. She screams back at him. She's going to tase him. He got deactivated. She's her friend who is the account holder is still on the platform. So Uber, we have a problem here. Here's the footage, right? And we're going to be contacting the media. Let, let's make this short and simple. We'll give you till Monday to reactivate this driver. His name's John Pillar. He's the rideshare trickster. And he was extremely courteous. 
He was, he was not shouting. He was not rude. He was protecting himself. And she threatened to tase him. And what they did is they proceeded to deactivate him. Right? Deactivate him. He appealed it. And they said, nah, you know, your behavior um, was harassing. Um, any, any behavior involving violence, sexual misconduct, harassment, discrimination, or illegal activity while using the Uber app can result in losing access to the app permanently. Uber, you show me where he broke your community guidelines, where he breached your terms of service. I'd like to know. Because we're going to give you till Monday to get involved and get this driver back. Furthermore, um, the actual legal letter, I've prepared it already with the group of attorneys that I'm working with. So we're going to actually test once again, as I have many times in the uh, before, send off the legal letters, give them 10 days. In this case, we're going to give these guys 48 hours because they can see the footage, right? We're going to attach this to Twitter. We're going to blow this out in the social media. And if need be, we're going to contact TV stations on Monday. So it's up to Uber. It's up to Uber to get this guy back on the platform. He has done nothing wrong. Uber has taken, it upsets me, because Uber has taken the side of the passenger and she is not even the account holder. So legally, this argument is null and void, right? The real account holder is not in the car and has no right to file a complaint based on a friend who's not even the account holder. So seeing that the account holder is not in his car, how can he be deactivated? Legally, I've run this by an attorney. They have no leg to stand on. Now, Uber can decide how far they want to take this, right? If they want to reactivate him immediately on Monday, because if not, it's going to cost them a lot of money. There's, there's, we're going to give a very, very short time limit for him, him to be um, reactivated. And then it's straight, fast track, court or arbitration. He's losing money right now. He's already appealed. They shot him down on the appeal. They haven't really looked at his evidence. He supplied the dash cam footage and they say he breached. There is nothing, my friends, right? If he, if he wants to protect himself, he didn't turn around and say, I'll spray the shit out of you. No, she said, I will tase you. And she's not even the account holder. So I, I would like you guys to give him some moral support because he's rather down, right? This is stressful. This is why I brought out this course, um, deactivated to reactivated, which launches next week. And I'm going to do this service for him because he's a friend. I actually helped launch his um, channel a few years ago in Marina del Rey. We made the first video together, got him the first subscribers. I remember his first upload and we go way back. So this is drivers having drivers backs. And if you think he's been unreasonable, please put it in the comments. But if you see what I saw, right, leave your feedback. He, he kept calm. Not once did he scream at this woman. He didn't threaten her. He was preparing himself for an eventuality because she obviously was getting irate. She was getting frustrated. And again, I'm saying this for the 10th time. She is the third party passenger, right, who really has no right to even file a complaint because the person who should be filing the complaint is the account holder who is not in the car. So I, how can she file? Makes no sense whatsoever for Uber to deactivate rideshare tricks to otherwise John Pillar. Your comments, please. And Uber... Think about this. I know you watch my videos. If you want this all over the media, we'll gladly do it for you. It's, 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 you know, it's just a couple of hours of work. I showed you with the other gentleman, the Chinese driver. I took it nationwide. Um, I'll do it again. It's, it's not a problem. I've got, I've got a ton of contacts, ton of reporters, ton of people in the TV world and the media world that I can call. It's just a couple of phone calls and a couple of emails. So I'll let Uber decide if he is the villain, or maybe don't you think that this woman went a little bit too far? 
by saying, I'll tase the fuck out of you. And again, this is not a, a this is not a, a color issue or a race issue. I don't care who's in the backseat, male, female, black or white, Asian, alien. I don't care. It's how this thing played out and it's the legalities behind it. She cannot file a complaint. She is merely a third party. And you went ahead and you deactivated a 4.97 rated driver who's been going for years and just doing his very, very best and recruiting people for you. Uber, make your decision. I'll wait till Monday. Thank you.